Hello everyone, um, my name is Jinxie or uh, Poppy Churro, some of you already know me as Poppy Churro, Drag King, and I am uh, going to be giving a angel spiritual reading for the week of August the 8th through the 14th. Um, I'm going to try to keep it short because I did this a little bit before and I kind of rambled so I'm going to try not to do that. Uh, we've got a few events coming up. So we have what's coming up called the Lion's Gate, which is August the 8th. And it is um, a series kind of, of of energy and vortex portals that will be opening up. So many, there's so much speculation on what kind of um, energy that's going to bring just because we've had a lot of, we've had a few upgrades as far as energy goes. When I say energy, it's just that Usually, um, when you have a mixture of certain energies plus stuff that's going on in the astrological planes, such as, like, for instance, we've got a lot of things going on that's happened with Pluto and the moon and Saturn and things like that. They have a way of, um, they have a way of kind of interfering with their lives. So... Um, it's very, it's very crazy. It, it gets, it gets a little complicated, but a lot of speculation is going for the, the lion's gate is that, uh, it's going to bring about some very positive changes and changes that were, have been in the making for quite some time. And, um, they should bring about some really crazy changes, uh, changes, po positive changes don't always come out for the best, but sometimes they have a way of, of bringing the change that we need as a society. So, um, it's not a coincidence that we've been having to deal with all these um, things that are going on in our political system and uh, in our regular lives, even even down to our personal relationships. Um, I've noticed with friends and just people in general, I, I do a lot of people watching and I notice that uh, everybody, a lot of the people have been having very similar um, attitudes and similar experiences that are going on in their lives that show to me that there's some sort of energy shift going on. Um, uh, this past Friday, I was completely sick because of whatever energy has been going on and I could barely get out of bed enough to do anything other out, out even outside of work was just like, it was bad. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to babble on. Um, so I am going to, um, start with the energy reading by shuffling. What do we got in store for August the 8th through 14th? What we What we can all expect for August the 8th through 14th? What would you like? So they're very well shuffled and we had a car kind of plop out of that and um, I'm going to start the reading with this card because this card pop out, popped out and usually when they pop out it's an urgent message, it's a message that is important um, within addition to what I'm going to read. So the first card I got was focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus on, upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Okay, immediately what I got from this card was that the key to gaining our bliss in our life is to joyfully serve, joyfully be, joyful, joy, uh, being the root word and of out of the entire sentence and meaning. In order to comp to accomplish joy, 
there has to be happiness. There has to be love. There has to be desire for this. So what I'm getting is that through this week, we've got, like I said, we've got this Lionsgate that's coming up and there's supposed to be some great changes. And, and I feel like a lot of this will definitely bring joy and bliss towards everyone. But, but with that, we need to have a constant balance of giving and receiving these things. So, for instance, if this week you are blessed with something major, something big, you need to give it back to the universe because the universe provided. So now you have to serve back. It's a constant balance of situations. Uh, a friend of mine, I, I knew people back in the day who would say, you know, once I get a car, uh, I'm going to give everyone rides. No matter what, I'll see a person just waiting for a ride and I'm going to give them a ride because I'm going to be so grateful. Keep stuff like that in mind when you are asking for something. You're asking for love. What kind of, what do you expect to have uh, to give back to the universe when you do find that love. Um, or if you have a job, what kind of um, give back to the universe do you expect to give back with that particular job or, you know, bit of money? Um, you have to be willing. There's a, It's a giving and receiving, a, a service of giving and receiving. And on top of that, but feeling happy will attract all of these things to you. So, if you want happiness, you have to find joy in what you have right now. Live life in joy. Everybody has something good to be happy about. If you ate tonight, that's something to be happy about. If you sleep somewhere that's roofed, that's something to be happy You have AC on, on top of that, even more of a reason for you to be happy and blissful and joyful you've got to find something in your life as small as it is to be grateful because there's so many things in this world that you can have a lot of gratefulness and this will help balance um what you have okay so that is i i feel like that is a really important message that that my guides my angels want you to know is that we need to find focus on service um, and focused on, on being joyful so that we can find good things in our lives and be thankful and have some, and have things to be grateful for. So there's that. So, um, the first card I picked is a shower of abundance. Um, again, the lion's gate is supposed to bring such great energy and abundance and all these things to the people who are deserving to have that karmic deserving, deservedness because they were good people, they have served, they have been happy, they've been thankful and grateful for what they have in their lives, and um, you know, at the same time to have compassion for other people, uh, or other things, other pe uh, animals, um, the earth, things like that. I feel like this is, is your card of saying, it's coming. What you've been waiting for, what you've been asking for, what you've been patient, patiently waiting for is coming. A shower of abundance. To heal, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow it. Big, 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 big card that also ties in with this other card. This card, though, is also saying, stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. I know it's super hard. Trust me, I know. I was probably, like, the worst worrier in the entire world. But I I feel like if I can do it and not worry anymore, because I don't have very many worries anymore. Like, I, I rarely worry. Like, I worried so bad at one point that my chest would hurt. Like, I would have chest pains. And that's pretty bad. So, um, this card is saying when it comes to financial stuff, stop worrying about it. It's not going to make things any better. If you sit and you're worried about the, the bill that you haven't been, pay, uh, been able to pay, 
or or how you're gonna you know make rent and, and things like that this is not going to help you um, achieve what you need to achieve or get the abundance that you want because you're continuing worrying about it it's not gonna make the problem go away because you're worrying about it it's like worrying about breathing you know you know you're gonna breathe you know you're gonna inhale you know you're gonna exhale so then why are you worrying about it if you sat around and you'd worry about it you'd be like having heart palpitations because you're too busy concentrating on that inhalation and exhalation so um, give your worries to your guides give them to your universe if you pray if you believe in God give them to God if you don't pray but you want to give you want to you have some sort of faith faith in the source um, faith in the faith in the earth faith in physics because you know the, the probability of of things happening because you're concentrating on positive energy is has is, is also something that's scientifically proven so give your worries up to whoever you need to give them up to but give them up and stop worrying about especially about finances because this card is saying your hard work is about to pay off we have a lion's gate going up and I really feel very happy and positive about that <coughs> next card is saying again this one keeps saying this one's like let go of the past stop thinking about the past Stop thinking about what you did before. Stop thinking about old money habits, old money situations that you you know you used to be involved in, or or old money worries. Well, I got a big old thing of money, but what happens if I spend it all? How will I pay for blah 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 blah? Let it go. This is saying to the the to let go. The burden of carting your past around makes you has made you weary, dear one. So it's making you tired. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and love and leave everything else behind. Because you can think about the past. You can think about the good stuff that's gone on and go, okay, I love it. I appreciate it. But know that that stuff is in the past, okay? Don't start chasing after an old love, you know, back in the high school day flame because you remember that you loved them so much. Your love back then when you were a kid was totally different than your adult in the love now. So let it go. Let it go. Okay. Next card is a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves trust in heaven in heaven's protection and invite wisdom to answer to your prayer in, in the best way this keep this car keeps coming up so it's also saying that what the matters what stuff that does happen in your life if you get a shake up this week like something major happens to you this week this is this card's telling you it's a blessing in disguise it's meant to be whatever happens this week is happening for a reason this week. If you lose a job, you never know. You might have a neck, the next job you might have might be even better than the one before that. Trust me, I know. It's good. Good card. Innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth. No one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that have may have shrouded your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. This is a good card. In order for you to find peace, you have to let go of your past. You have to know that the universe is working for you. You have to give those worries money away and you have to focus on giving and receiving. And with innocence, you have to find a calm within you. It's like what they teach you like when you're le learning how to meditate, you know. Someone I remember some one of my teachers said, "Inhale the good shit, exhale the bad shit." 
inhale the good shit, meaning life, the sun, the air, the good stuff, thinking about all the good ways that your life would be going great, and exhale the bad shit, all the past, all the hurt, all the anger, all the worry, everything, and you'll notice that when you start thinking that way, when you start exhaling all of that shit, expelling all of that stuff, getting rid of all of that stuff, you'll find that your chest all the, and your back start feeling better. You don't feel the burden of it. So this is a very important message right now. And it's telling, telling you, let go of your past, your worries, your fears, focus on giving and so that you can receive, let go of your past. I'm going to keep saying that because y'all need to let go of your past. I'm tired of seeing this card here on my deck. And know that everything is working out for you right now. And you can say that, you know, if you feel worried or scared, I always say that too. I always look in the mirror and I'm like, everything is always working out for me. Everything always goes my way. And you know what? It's starting to happen. Okay. Okay, the next. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is free, is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Okay. My grandmother always used to tell me, you have a guardian angel. You have someone always watching over you. Just ask them, and they will help you out. And... I have to go with her on that one, especially when I'm getting her in my, I'm getting this in my deck, in my card, my readings. Ask, ask the universe, ask God, ask whoever, ask, ask your candle, meditate within yourself and ask for the path to be shown to you. Um, it's kind of funny because I was getting really, I was really sick this, this past week. And so, uh, this morning I woke up from my stomach with my stomach hurting like badly it was hurting so so bad and I felt like I was gonna throw up so I was getting nauseous and you know how you know you're about to throw up you're like okay I need to get a plan going so I can run as quickly to the bathroom as possible so there I was thinking this way and I'm sitting here and I've got my mind quiet and I was just like in that part asleep part awake area and I was just like, what should I do? What do I need to do to get better? What is the, what is wrong with me? Because often we, we ask ourselves something like that if we're feeling sick. We're like, what is wrong with me? And I heard I heard somebody in my dream, in, in my half-asleep uh, mindset, say, you've been taking a lot of pills lately. And, you know, for your medicine... Uh, and, and for feeling better and things like that, your liver needs to be cleansed. You need a liver cleanser, a li liver detoxer. And I, I woke up just completely like, oh my God, they're right. I, I have been taking like, I've been a lot, taking a lot of ibuprofen for my ankle and, and for me being, feeling like, you know, having a fever and stuff. And then I've been taking antibiotics for um, this bite that I got in my eye. And, uh, so all of this stuff, and I don't have a gallbladder, so, um, it doesn't process like it used to anymore. And I'm like, oh my God. So I got some detoxifying tea and it, it has definitely feel better. I don't feel as full. I don't feel, um, as nauseous and I'm just going to continue cleaning out my liver. So, and I feel a lot better from that today, um, as a result. So thank you so much to my guides who told me what was wrong with me. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that all you have to do is ask. All you have to do is ask. Even if you don't quite believe it, even if you're completely skeptical, skeptical about it. And sorry, <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, even if you're skeptic, just ask. You know, all you kind of really need is that faith. And knowing that Source is with you and Source is constantly, constantly there for you. You have the answers within you, inside of your own energy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got two more. So the next one is Daydream. 
You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings. Sorry, my cats are playing with paper bags right now. Visions or ideas as if you are watching a movie. This is a seat of creativity. This is definitely saying, and especially in regards to what's going on in this deck, is that I'm getting, we need to start meditating more. We need to hear what our inner voice has to say. We need to close our minds in meditation so that we can focus. So I think that that's what's going on. I think we're, we're a lot of us are in a creative block, um, especially a lot of the people who like to watch my videos that have a tendency to be in the creative field. And it's this, I think this one, this is for y'all. Um, maybe you've been feeling like blocked or whatever lately. And it's saying to focus, just meditate, stop, think, drink some tea, you know, turn off everything and take a bath and just sit there and ask and meditate and and you should be receiving what you've been asking for so my last card is relationship your primary relationship is with yourself and God or source and every relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and love within and so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper i think universally what this means is to find a personal relationship with your faith with your spirituality what do you believe in what don't you believe in what do you use to bring yourself comfort when you are feeling down um, if you believe in if you don't if you if you're an atheist you're more likely to believe in something like science or something that's more tangible so what part of the science that you believe in gives you more comfort about yourself knowing that you're comprised of some sort of energy and that energy, as you know, can be, can be manipulated. So with that, there goes your faith right there. That's your faith. That's your relationship, your your own relationship to this your to your spiritual side as an atheist. Um, if you go to the other side, it's somebody who is completely, you know, um, believes in God, believes in angels, believes in everything. So then your relationship needs to be with your spirituality. If you're a Buddhist, same thing. Get in touch. This card is saying to get in touch with the relationship that you have with yourself and who you believe in and what you believe in, what faith you have in energy um, that can be manipulated. But it, and because it can be manipulated, it should, it, it can be manipulated. Um, Sorry, I'm like right in the middle of my thought. Um, if it can be manipulated, then it should be manipulated to what you desire. Is where I'm getting. That's the law of attraction. So, yeah. So this is going to be, I feel like, a very busy week for a lot of us. And there's going to be a lot of great, there's going to be some crazy energy this week. Crazy ass energy. And if you're an empath, I would probably advise you from staying away from people who are chaotic right now just you know calm people people who you know always got their shit together um or just good-hearted people or other empaths too because right now y'all just don't need to be around anybody who's going through chaos and get back in your get back to your spiritual side is what I'm getting at. Get back to that focus, the inner focus of who you are inside. And that could be morals and motivations that you used to have. If you were a spitfire when you were a kid, you know, you were somebody who was a little pain in the ass, but you liked who you were back then because you didn't take any shit. Then go back and think about how you were and how and why you were on that path. And 
look at and look at what you've learned. Get rid of all the bad stuff, all the bad things that happened to it. Forgive yourself if you were a bad person before, whatever. Whatever, forgive whatever's going on in your past, but take that part that you liked who you were about yourself and manipulate it into something that's much more updated, something that's much more spiritual, something that is less worry, that is a lot more confident. Bring that person out of you. I know every single one of you has that in you. And I feel, I really, really, really feel like that's what's going on with the energy this week. Okay. <laughs> um, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you do like what you, what I've got. Um, if it's if my reading resonates with you, by all means, comment, talk about it. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, if you want me to go through any type of topics, um, eventually I'd like to have stuff going on where I show like different parts of uh, what I believe in. And, and expose that and kind of film that off. Uh, so um, that's something that I want to do later on. Uh, possibly do some live readings at a workshop or something like that. That's also really cool. Um, speaking of, I am available for personal readings um, through Skype, through telephone, uh, through Facebook Messenger or Messenger or Kick Messenger um, or in person. So. I will link all my stuff below, and that's where you can find me. Visit me on my Facebook page, my Instagram, and say hi. All right, until then, I will see you next week. Uh, remember to love each other, and uh, remember to keep the most positive outlook in your life. All right, all right, until next time, bye.